Slow Horses Season 4, Episode 1, Identity Theft, leaves viewers wondering what happened to River Cartwright, Jack Loden. River has been working for SLU House Chief Jackson Lamb, Gary Oldman, for three seasons, but he is far from a veteran MI5 officer. However, one of the characters in Slow Horses is his grandfather, David Cartwright, Jonathan Price. David, who raised and supported him since childhood, is a legendary MI5 agent who has played a significant role in the service. Previously, David chose to destroy the incriminating footprint file, prioritizing MI5's reputation. As indicated by the season 3 finale, David and River disagree on holding MI5 accountable for its acts. River, who cleverly creates a copy of the footprint file, leaks the information to the public, causing major, first desk, shakeups. The Cartwright men disagree on more than just MI5's accountability. In the season 4 premiere, River tells Louisa Guy, Rosalind Eliezer, that his grandfather's dementia is worsening. This leads directly to a shocking revelation in Slow Horses Season 4, which has far-reaching consequences for the story. In Slow Horses Season 4, River's grandfather appears to have killed his grandson. When Louisa suggests that River not only care for his grandfather but also place David in a home, River rejects the idea, and that's the last viewers see of the Slough house agent before he's seemingly shot and killed by his grandfather. River previously stated that David took a full 10 minutes to realize who he was during their last gathering. In fact, David rambled on about his grandson, believing River to be a friendly stranger. Slow Horses foreshadows that David Cartwright may not be the most reliable narrator. When River breaks character and calls him Gramps, David shoots and kills the imposter. On his way home, David is paranoid, muttering that whoever is following him should reveal themselves. Once inside, River's grandfather grabs his shotgun and keeps watch until he falls asleep in his armchair. David Cartwright is startled awake when someone, possibly River, bangs on his front door. Viewers never get a good look at River's face as he pushes past David to run a bath upstairs. David grabs his shotgun and the MI5, issued panic button, sensing something is wrong. When River breaks character and refers to him as Gramps, David shoots and kills the imposter. Jackson Lamb's response to River's death explained. Slow Horses Season 4 was described as controversial prior to its release, and Jackson Lamb's strange reaction to the incredibly dark opener backs up that claim. While Lamb is known to be irreverent, flatulent, and disrespectful, his non-reaction to River's apparent murder is alarming. However, Lamb's actions are also incredibly telling. Even though River's ID and wallet were found on the body, Emma Flight, Ruth Bradley, the new head of the dogs, calls Lamb to David Cartwright's home to identify the victim. Disgruntled more than upset, Lamb turns up looking drunk. Lamb seems disheveled, suggesting that he doesn't think the real River is dead. Once inside, River's boss carefully goes through the medicine cabinet, looking for something to settle his stomach. Flight is, understandably, surprised by Lamb's lack of reaction to the gruesome scene. The explosion disfigures the victim, who Lamb jokes, used to have a face. Blood specks the walls. Slewhouse's face turns strange as he crouches closer to the body, but Lamb confirms to Flight that the victim is River Cartwright. Privately, Lamb seems disheveled, suggesting that he doesn't think the real River is dead. The ending of Slow Horses Season 4, Episode 1, reveals River is alive. By the end of Slow Horses Season 4, Episode 1, River is revealed to be alive and well, for the most part. Trusting his gut, Lamb goes to visit the jaded Catherine Standish, Saskia Reeves, who quit Slew House at the end of Season 3. When Lamb turns up, Standish is busy looking over newspaper articles about the car bombing that occurred at a shopping center the same night River was killed. Realizing that Standish isn't asking any prying questions about the circumstances of River's death, Lamb calls out his former colleague, theorizing that Standish has seen River recently. David Cartwright killed his grandson's lookalike and then pressed the panic button to alert MI5. Although Standish initially balks at Lamb's suggestion, the slovenly MI5 operative says that he saw River's car parked outside. Standish admits that River did stop by, but that he's gone now. Meanwhile, Standish is harboring a fugitive, David Cartwright, who killed his grandson's lookalike and then pressed the panic button to alert MI5. The first episode ends before Lamb can question David, but it does seem like the shopping center incident, which was committed by a man who threatened that his brothers would be coming to finish the job, is connected to whatever happened at the Cartwright home. What River's survival means for Slow Horse's Season 4 story while River's Slow Horse's story will be radically distinct from anything that's come before, it's too early to determine how, exactly, the River lookalike and the car bomb are related. In Episode 1's concluding minutes, River sits in the back seat of a cab, 
riding through the rural French countryside as he looks at a woman's passport. Previously, the car bomber's passport was lying around his apartment, as if he wanted it to be found. Although it's not visible why River Cartwright is in the crosshairs, it is clear that he'll have a connection to Slow Horse's current conspiracy, setting up another twisting story for the series. The fact that River has seemingly faked his own death suggests that Slow Horse's Season 4 will feature even more deception than usual. Standish's apparent involvement, Lamb's knowledge of the situation, and his conversation with Louisa all recall earlier moments from the series where being in the know is central to the story. While the explosion is certainly the most action-packed aspect of the story, River's situation may well constitute the narrative heart of the season.